Welcome it everyone, I'm Kathy Mock and on behalf of the Board of Education and the Falcon Media team, we are pleased to continue our series that focuses on the amazing accomplishments of our students here at Austin Town Fitch. And we are happy to welcome today, Zosia Lewis. Well, thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the activities that you are currently involved in at Fitch? Uh, Right now I'm involved in the JROTC unit here. I'm the current Corps Commander and I've been part of ROTC since I was a freshman here at Fitch. Okay, and you are a senior. I am a senior. All right. So was there a person or an event or maybe even an experience uh, that has impacted what you've participated in Fitch? Uh, my grandma did uh, Army Intelligence along with my grandpa and her brother during the 70s and 80s, so I, this is kind of something I wanted to do. When I found out this was an opportunity, I just kind of went with it. That's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so along those lines, do you have any aspirations or goals after graduation this year? And I'm thinking maybe you do. Yeah. Just by how you are dressed today. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Uh, I want to uh, attend West Point Academy after uh, I graduate this year. I've been really trying to get all the endorsements and everything I need for that. And I was really influenced uh, over the summer when I went to the Flight Academy down in Tuskegee, Alabama for JROTC. Because I, while I was out there, I met a uh, USAFA cadet, someone from the Air Force Academy in Colorado. He was a senior and he was telling me all about the service academies and how much it did for him. He was from Pennsylvania, so we kind of just connected. And uh, yeah, he really influenced and swayed my decision to, instead of wanting to enlist, to go to a service academy. How long did you participate there? It was for two months. It was the end of May all the way down to beginning of August. Amazing. So talk about the patches that you have on your, what, what do we call it? Is it a uniform? What is it? Uh, this is just a flight suit. A flight suit. Talk yeah. about it. How you got it and the patches. Well, these patches are just the JROTC patches. The, this one's specific for the flight suit. This one's just the one that we have for all JROTC. This one's my cadet badge that's specific for the flight suit. And then this is just an American flag patch that they gave out with the flight suits. This one particularly is from uh, this Tuskegee ROTC, I'm pretty sure, because they didn't have one in my size coming in because it was a shortage of flight suits. So we just, I had one from the local ROTC unit in Tuskegee, Alabama that I just got one from. Which is pretty cool, I think. Mm -hmm. You have something unique that most of the other uh, students maybe did not get? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, is there any advice that you would give our current students here at Fitch that might impact their school experience? Uh, what should they do? I would say to branch out and try new dif and different things. Like, you never know what's really your niche until you experienced it and there's a lot of things offered at the school yes great advice so um, and along those same lines do you have any thoughts on what we do really well here at Fitch and anything that we can do to improve I always feel like everybody can get better so what's something that we do really well here at Fitch and what can we do to get better for our students uh, I think something really well here at Fitch is the opportunities because there's a lot of diverse classes and clubs and activities that can go around in the school and improving on it would just be awareness of every one of the activities so people can branch out and do them. How do you think we need to do that? Get the word out on the activities. What are, what are your thoughts? Kind of putting you on the spot. Mm, I, I don't know how it would work to, for, to get it out to individuals but probably some sort of announcements would work the best because a lot of people don't know about everything that they can do at this school. Right. How did you find out about Junior ROTC? Uh, well, it was my eighth grade year during COVID, so I was signing off on my classes late, and then I just happened upon it while I was talking to a counselor about how to get this done. Okay, okay. So maybe we need to have, you know, an assembly where we get all the freshmen or incoming eighth graders just to kind of put it out there as to what the offerings are. Yeah, and I'd say it could also work for sophomores and juniors too, because you never know how, when you want to switch or try something new. That's true, that's true, yeah. You might think, oh, I'm gonna like doing this, and it's maybe not so much, but then you find something else that might better suit your needs, as you talked about. Exactly. Um, 
So I always like to ask this question too. So what advice would you give to anyone in Austin Town community? Could be a student or an adult. Uh, to get involved or to be aware. Involved. I'd say just try to reach out. Like don't be so closed off and closed minded, I guess I'd say. Because there's a lot of things going on that like with football games or service opportunities, community activities, like with the 9-11 Memorial that go on. And then there's a lot of people that just don't know because they didn't take the time to want to know, I guess. Yeah. And I always say too, I drive through the campus quite a bit and there's always something going on. And just, and you can even stop and fetch and just ask some questions. What do you need mm -hmm. done? What can we do to help? So. You're right, you're right. There are a lot of different things that people can participate in. So um, I just wanna thank you for the time mm -hmm. that you came in today to talk to us and I wanna wish you all the best and continued success. I know you're gonna be great. So we're gonna sign off at this time. Mm -hmm. So again, this is Kathy Mock signing off on behalf of the Austin Town Board of Education and the Falcon Media Team. And as we always like to say, Go, Go Falcons! Falcons.